If you want the exclusive, you want the tall boy, because he's going to bring you the exclusive. Well, there's no one solution. That's the first thing we have to know. I mean, first, first of all, one of the reasons I try to talk about housing choices is we have to make sure that we have housing that fits the needs of a wide range of our citizens, right? And, 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 you know, we, sometimes we spend too much time arguing over what is affordable, and we don't spend any time talking about some of the, the, the niches that we have to create for, for people, you know, if you... Um, so I'll start with that. Secondly, I think that um, we can create zoning, particularly in certain areas, that, that you know, honors those goals. Thirdly, we actually have a lot of housing in this city, affordable housing in this city, but some of it is boarded up, some of it needs to be renovated, some of it needs to be returned to the market, and I think that there's things we can do in partnership with developers. But also, you know, with our own tax code and code enforcement to make sure that if you want to invest in Atlanta, then we want people to invest in Atlanta. But you can't board up a house and sit on it for 30 years and let the roof go and bring down the whole neighborhood because you think one day somebody's going to pay you some crazy amount of money for that parcel, right? So, you know, we've got to sort of make the pain point, um, you know, happen in, in real time, right? Not in the next generation's time. Um, I'll also create a position of housing director at the cabinet level at City Hall so that we can align the Atlanta Housing Authority, the City of Atlanta's Housing Department, and other agencies like Invest Atlanta along the goals of creating those housing choices into the future. Think big, think tall, think tall boy.